Welcome to what, why and where series. This is Navin Reddy and in this series of tutorial we'll choose a topic, one topic in one episode and we'll talk about the introduction of that topic. We'll talk about what is that technology, why to use that technology and where to implement. Now if you see this tutorial it will help you to increase your knowledge. So you make sure you subscribe to the channel and watch the video. Today we'll talk about SQL Lite. Just remove that L there. We just have one L, so we have S Q L I T E. Now, with SQL, we'll talk about why we what what is SQL, why we require SQL, and where to use it, right? So we'll talk about the first question, which is what what is SQL Lite? So basically, SQL Lite is a software in which you can write SQL queries. Okay, it's a lightweight, no network access, and embedded type of SQL software in which you can write SQL or you can execute SQL queries. Second question, why we require SQL? Now this is a bit tricky. We already have MySQL, we have Oracle, we have Postgres. Then why we require yet another uh, DBMS or RDBMS? The thing is, if you talk about MySQL, Oracle and Postgres, these are client server, uh, what you say, DBMS. And if you talk about SQLite, this is standalone DBMS. Now the problem is when you talk about the, this world now, so we are moving towards a world which is called, which is which will be working with IOT, which is Internet of Things. So everything around you will be internet enabled. Maybe your fans, your tube light, your AC, your fridge, your mobile phones, uh, your anything you have. In fact, your watch. Now you can see Apple Watch. We have uh, Samsung Gear. So we have all these uh, devices which are connected with internet, right? And somewhere, these are intelligent devices in which you have a small amount of data. So, example, let's say if I enter a room and if I if you have a AC, so AC temperature will be changed depending upon the person, right? If a person, let's say if I enter the room, so I will be having a different temperature. If my friend is entering the room, he will be getting a different temperature, provided we are not in the we both are not in the same room at the same time, on the on different timing. So your AC need to have something called some data to calculate this thing, right? And those data will be stored in a DBMS. Now, for the AC, you cannot have MySQL installed. You cannot have Oracle installed. So you can have a SQL Lite DBMS which is installed, which is lightweight, right? So you can have a small database inside those ACs, and that's why we require SQL Lite there. So first, what is SQL Lite? It's just a software. In which you can you can write SQL queries. Why we require is because all these different DBMS they work with client server and they are bulky to work with. Now the third reason where to implement this. Now there is an official documentation provided by the SQL Lite team and they claim you can use SQL Lite anywhere provided that website or some that thing doesn't have huge amount of traffic. Example when you you can use SQL Lite to build a website. You can do that, but the problem is if your website is getting around thousand, uh, hundred or hundred thousand visits per day, uh, that's okay. But if you are going beyond that, uh, it may give problem. If your website has a concurrent operation, you should not use SQLite. Okay, uh, so where to use SQLite? So we can use SQLite for embedded softwares. So if, let's say if you are building a project for embedded systems. So let's say you are building a project for maybe a telephone system, maybe a, a AC or a fridge. So you can use SQLite there. When you are building an Android application, if you want to save huge amount of data, you can use MySQL on the server side. But if you want to save a small data from your Android, you can use SQLite as a database. So where to use? We can use an embedded software, we can use in websites, provided you're not getting huge traffic. Uh, you can use it in uh, Android and all these small embedded devices. So that is what SQLite is. That is why what is SQLite, where, why we require SQLite and where it is used. So if you liked this video, just make sure you click on the like button below and uh, do subscribe for the further videos. We're talking about different technology in the coming session. So thank you so much for watching.